And it is your faithful racial connoisseur extravaganza explainer. Er, but anyway, um, I got some shit on my mind. Now, there's a fucking rat right there. A cat killed, I'm sure. I just happened to see that. Didn't have shit to do with my video. But anyway, we'll talk about the relationships between the police and the people. Now, we all know America is a war-torn country. People may not remember that, but we are a war-torn country, okay? So it's things going on on both sides of that war that was fought so long ago that are still going on, or, or the pain still echoes until the day. Um, there once was a group of men dressed in white, riding around on horses that terrified thousands, millions even probably, uh, and it seems to me that they have switched out, and it seems to a lot of other people that they have switched out, and instead of riding horses, they are riding in cruisers. So, some people may look at them as being oppressive. You know, I always thought the police were here to help. I never had an ill feeling toward police officers. My uncle is a sheriff's officer. Uh, there, there are people in my family who are in law enforcement. They're people You can't avoid it. They're just people. But anyway, we got kids that grow up in this war, torn country. And, you know, because that war is over doesn't mean that we're not fighting still here at home. People get killed every day. These children see it. These children have been raised around it. And they don't get no help. The immediate family might get some, some, some uh, psychological help. But what about the guy across the street kids who saw this shit and, and they just terrified now, petrified, you know what I mean, horrified because of the shit they just saw. This is traumatic and no one is given a thought to the fact that perhaps these inner city kids, and this is rural counties too, I mean, it's all over the place. It's not just inner city really no more, but it's a, it's a good chunk of it happens in inner city. But anyway, no one gets no any uh, post-traumatic stress disorder help. Okay, so now you got these kids who've grown up traumatized, and not just once, but repeatedly, and they get... They get thrown into adulthood and then they got to survive and do whatever and think like an adult and process. Their th th the thought process ain't the same, first of all. But scratch all that out. You got soldiers that go to war, grown men, and they go through some shit, get sent back. And, oh, yeah, we'll pay for your post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, but what about the kids? Who done saw? Who knows what happened? You know what I mean? Whatever the problem is, where do they get help? So then the first run-in they have is with an officer who has less training than he should have or who has had a bad day for whatever reason. And there's no telling what the, what the suspect or what the victim's going through that day. But anyway, we both converged on this one spot. And now it's going to go down. Untrained. Untherapied, <laughs> I don't know what to call it if you, if you don't get any help. Uh, but we need help. These kids need help that grew up into these adults that just don't understand how shit work. Need help because they, they've been traumatized. If you ask me. And since nobody did, I feel I'll tell you anyway. That's what I think.